What's up guys, VoiceOver Tian here. Just real quick before the video, um, before you guys actually purchase this, you guys only know one thing, or two things really. One is that you need to cut off or shave off a little bit of the actual tail light on the inside of it. Um, I'll be showing it later in the video just because there's a little bit of a fitment issue with that. Second, you'll also need to buy this uh, trim trim kit on like Amazon, it's like six bucks. It's not that much, but make sure you guys do that before you guys buy the actual tail light. That way you guys will have it. I'm lucky I already had everything that I needed, but it's only to let you guys know. All right guys, enjoy the video, bye. What's up everybody, today we're back with the E93. So I actually bought these LCI taillights for the E93 about two months ago, but I've never had the chance to put it on because just of no time. But now it's like a nice weekend and I have some time. We're gonna put these on to replace these pre-LCI lights. The bulb on this is actually doesn't work. So that's one reason why I want to replace that all. Um, these are kind of expensive. I bought these for around 450 I believe because for some reason the E93 uh, LCI and pre-LCI's aren't common so they're a little more expensive but I've heard many great things I heard that the LCI looks a lot better and just overall better it's LEDs I believe so we'll see how it looks compared to these these have like that white line at the bottom there for the turn tables which will completely be gone from the LCI's so we're gonna see how it looks I'm super excited let's go all right, so pretty easy. Once you get off this cover here, it's just gonna be this black plug right here. Then three screws, or three um, sockets, I think. So one up here, one up here, and then one over here. So I don't know what size yet, but let me find out with this little this little handy kit over here, and then I'll find out for you guys. All right, it's gonna be an eight for the three screws on each side here. Two over here, one over here. So just an eight. Those three are out, and I think just this plug, the little black thing, you push down on it, and then it should come out. Oh my god, is it really that easy? Let's see if the headlights come out. Oh, it really was that easy. <laughs> you know, that's crazy. Okay. Um, but yeah, so these are lights that are cooked. Don't know why they don't work. The DRLs don't work, but like the turn signals, the brakes, everything else works. Just, just a strip here for the DRLs or the running lights don't work. I don't know why. All right, so for this light, you only need a special tool, which is gonna be this handy dandy one right here. Um, I got this probably from off like Amazon or something, so. But make sure you guys get this for sure. This is a little harder, cause, oh, let's see. These two here are one here and one here. It's a little hard um, to get and reach into. So you have to slide this in and then take it off. I'm probably gonna do it off camera, just cause it seems a little hard. I don't know if this is too big or not. You know, the big ones hurt, so uh, I'm gonna try here and see if it, if it works. So, after you pop this off, turns out you can just push it out. It's only one bolt here, and it's gonna be this one here. So, this one is gonna be another seven, so perfect. All you need to do is unscrew that. It should pop out. You guys don't need to do this. I did it, did it, and then this one popped out, and I was like, what the hell? So, don't waste your time on this. It should be fine. Pop this one out, one screw there, seven, and this one should be good to go. This whole bracket will come off after you take off the seven, and then this takes off, and then you just have a little plug here, which, let's see if I can come see it. Let's see it right here. So, this little plug right here just comes off, just slides off once you press the tab in, and then, eh, it's a little harder, but there you go. Just that one, just that one here comes off. And after that, the headlight should be able to come off. So, let's try to get that off. Okay, and just like that, the, Inside light is also out. So now those two are out. Let us go. So let's go see the new ones. I'm super excited for this. Oh, these look so sick. Hopefully it's to see everything. Oh man, look at that. Are these, wait, right side? No, this is left side. Okay, this is the left side one, but look guys, this looks, oh my God. Like I bought it used, but these look amazing. It even comes with a harness to fit the piece LCI. But look at this. Oh man, does it look so much better? I love these so much. Oh my God. Guys, this looks gas. Look at this, this compared to this. Oh my, this looks so much better. Holy shit. Oh, okay. Let's plug this in and hopefully it works. This should be the pre outside harness that I came with. And yeah, I bought this pre-owned. Um, like some guy in Berkeley or something sold to me. Super nice guy and super good deal too. I'm so excited for these. These are gonna look amazing. There we go. Holy smokes, man. This is sick. Okay, it's in. Oh man, that's not secure. But uh, it's okay, it's cause the screws aren't in there. So that's good. 
Let's get the other one in. Okay, perfect. This one should be, uh, uh, I really didn't think this would be a difference that much. Um, but now seeing it in person, this looks amazing. Look at this. It has like so much more details compared to this. Oh man, I'm so hyped. Okay, let's plug this in. Down here, but this, this piece right here, this small piece right here, is what you need to shave off, or just a little bit of it for it to fit perfectly. I didn't know that you need to do that until I saw the video. Um, but yeah, so luckily I have a Dremel tool here that I can use, but if you don't, just use scissors or like heat up and uh, try to cut it. But yeah, just like one, one piece here, but I'll show you guys what I, I do. So after a while, it should look, look like that. Um, it's a little bit hard to see, but yeah, so just a little bit off. So big shout out to my homie Steven. This is actually his Dremel tool. I don't use it, I, I, he just lets me borrow it. But thank you. Like if I didn't have this, I would've been cooked. But yeah, I shave it a little bit. I'm gonna see if it fits now. It's, it's so confusing because I was watching a video. I was like, huh, why does it fit for other people? And then finally a video told me that they need to shave down like that. So I'm like, oh man, I wish like people told me it's not a big deal. Luckily it's just like a small piece, but let me see now if it fits perfectly or not. All right, so I shaved off a little more, but it turns out I don't think you need to. That should be enough, uh, if he has a focus here, um, just so it, it kind of lines up with the white there. So I did that uh, pretty close, but don't, you know, don't, don't, let, don't let it be too dangerous. It should be fine. So once you put it in here, put it here with one hand, it should sit like this, okay? Um, it looks a little weird, but it should fit perfect like this. A little bit of a gap in here. This sticks out just a little bit, if you guys see here. So yeah, it sticks out just a little bit, but that way it's, it should be the same. It sticks out just a little bit right there. So, but it should be the same as the other side, but it looks pretty good. It fits really good and look who's here. <laughs> but yeah, so it fits pretty good here. I think, yeah, just a little shaved off, but not too bad. I think if you have like a heat gun or just like a little X-Acto knife, should be no problem at all. So once you do that, just put in the harness or the little um, bracket back the way it came on, plugs back in and I'm trying it out to see it. So it should be in. This should be how it fits. Uh, pretty good, a little bit of gaps here and there but nothing much different from this side. Obviously the OEM one, like the original one, the pre-CLCI -CL will feel better. You won't need to shave anything, <clears throat> but this looks better in my opinion. So, okay, let's just try to see here. So fitment is pretty good. This obviously isn't like screwed in. So it's a little bit like that. This, okay, fitment could be better. I'm not gonna lie. Fitment could be better on this. I might have done it wrong or something, but it doesn't look too bad. All right, it doesn't look too bad. So let's press my keys here. And let's see how it looks. Oh man, yo, that looks so sick, guys. Holy, holy cow, man, no way. Okay, so the pre-LCI versus the LCI. Guys, that looks so much better. That's actually insane. Oh my God. Now I gotta turn on again. Oh, no, nah, that looks gnarly. Okay, yeah, for sure. This is like, I get it now. I get the hype, you know? I get the hype for, for the LCI. This looks so much better. If you guys have the, the money to afford these, if you guys just like weigh it out and like find a good deal, these are so worth it. Holy, I love it. Okay, so I'm probably not gonna do the other one on camera just cause it's getting kind of dark and you know, I'm kind of scared of the dark. <laughs> so. I also want to go out and get food and I'll show you guys how it looks in the dark, but overall, it looks great. I'm gonna show you guys basically an overview, a little bit more stuff, but this is so, so nice. I love it. All right, so it's officially like almost nighttime basically, and I just moved the car to the front, but let me show you guys the actual tail lights now um, because it is so sick, guys. So if you guys do know, these are the pre-LCIs and yo, look at these at night. They make a huge difference. Don't worry about my light. Oh, I definitely need to replace that. Holy. Um, but yeah, this one just looks so much better, guys. Just look at this. In comparison, especially, like the two line just looks super aggressive over this like one single line here. That's like a little bit like three stripes, but uh, looking like Adidas over here. Um, but yeah, this looks just awesome. The LCI looks amazing. Um, everything about it. I don't know how it turns out. Actually, let me try that. I haven't seen everything actually. So let me try the turn signals here how they look on this probably not anything too much different but over here yeah you guys see that yellow over here well this is an led i think um yeah that's just that looks so much better like <laughs> i don't know if it's any brighter but obviously this is like an ugly yellow well this is an led that is so so sick so so sick but let's turn that off 
Um, I know I will eventually get to doing this one too. Just I got lazy and it's nighttime. So I will just have this for now. Probably just have like a day. And then tomorrow I'll probably put this one in. And then while I'm doing that, I might as well just fix the light because it's kind of flicking, kind of scary. Don't really want to deal with that. But yeah, if you guys do have the money for it, I do recommend this awesome mod. It's around $400, maybe a little less if you find it like that. Um, but this is so sick. I love it so much. And the only reason I kind of replaced it was because my outer one was broken. So I was going to do it anyways and just sell the old parts. But yes, if you guys do enjoy the Eden content, make sure you give me a follow or subscribe and like. Um, appreciate it a lot. And I'm on the road to 1K right now, guys. And of course, we have this uh, the slam reel over there, which I will be working on very soon. Hopefully a wrap. But this is awesome. If you guys do have the money for it, like I said, I 100 recommend. Uh, I will be adding some more stuff to the BMW. But for now, this is kind of what I have. And I uh, hope you guys like it. Thank you guys again for watching. And I will see you guys next video. Bye.